Right, um, Nico, amaze and amuse our audience with some delectable delights from the uh, asset list. Candace Owens says, uh, new game I like to play, USSR or, USS or USA? Speech censored, churches are shut, citizens masked, businesses shut, elections rigged, and days to calculate. Any guesses? And, you know, Candace Owens... Uh, she's a rising star in the Republican Party. There's no doubt about that. But she's right on the money. Think about it. We have businesses closed because of this fake pandemic. At the same time, by the way, I don't know. In the last couple of days, have you heard anything about pandemics? No, not really. You don't hear anything about masks. In fact, um, Bernard Carrick, former police commissioner in New York City, said, just curious has anyone heard the word COVID in the last three days? That was the Democrat excuse for paper ballots. Now they don't need the excuse no more. So that's why they kept saying, COVID, 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 COVID. Why was it all about the COVID? The COVID was what they needed to give governors of different, of all the states what they call emergency powers, and then many of these governors who have already been defeated overstepped their powers by changing the rules on the presidential election. And it was a pretty sharp plan they came up with. Um, does anyone really believe Joe Biden shattered Obama's 2008 numbers? Does anyone really believe that he did that mostly in big cities? Come on, man. And I got to agree with him. This is fracking crazy. It's absolutely crazy that they've actually, these governors have taken state law and thrown it in the trash because of a pandemic. And by the way, the CDC, the Center for Disease Controls on Tuesday came out and said, it's okay for people to go to the polls and vote in person. We need participation in the elections, just uh, social distance. So. After months and months and months being told that we have to put this whole thing on paper because the pandemic is so bad that millions of people are going to die um, on election day, the CDC says, nah, everybody, out, everybody go out and vote. And at the same time, in Detroit, Michigan, in Philadelphia, the corruption capital of the world, in Atlanta, another corruption capital of the world where they got blue mayors that control the election apparatus, um, the count votes on their own sweet time. When you put everything on paper, that's when it gets hairy, okay? Pres Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is openly anti-Trump. Pennsylvania Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar is openly anti-Trump. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro openly anti-Trump. Are you surprised Biden is all of a sudden in the lead in Pennsylvania? And no, it should not be a shock to anyone out there that Detroit, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and now Nevada are four of the final states, that of final cities that need to come to the table with their ballots. And Friday after election day, they're still not done counting, but they're waiting until like five o'clock today. Trust me when I tell you, Listen to Uncle JT. They're going to send everybody away for the weekend with the big news around 5, 6 o'clock today. Joe Biden is the projected president-elect. He's won Georgia. He's won Pennsylvania. He's, they're going to reverse Arizona and give it to Trump. But Joe Biden's still over 270. He's the new president. Donald Trump should step down. And we're going to get told all weekend by these freaking crazy leftists on the mainstream me media that Donald Trump needs to be a good little boy and step down and have a peaceful transition of power. We ain't doing it. And Matt Gaetz... Um, more and more, it seems the dead vote swung overwhelmingly for Biden. Now, keep that up for a minute, Nico. This is funny. This is Congressman Matt Gates throwing something out there, a little tongue-in-cheek. And if you notice, Twitter flagged it and says some or all of the content is disputed and might be misleading about an election or other civic process. 
JT Lewis said, I tweeted out three videos of clear and obvious election fraud. Twitter's deleted each of them. Twitter is interfering in the election. If you remember, if you remember from the day Donald Trump took office, all the Democrats were screaming about election interference, about election fraud. The Russians were helping. The Chinese were helping. They all wanted Donald Trump to win. Now, we got Twitter, Jack Dorsey, we got Mark Zuckerberg, we got the whole Silicon Valley cartel. What are they doing? They're squelching voices of people who are putting truth out there, right down to little old JT, who's done nothing to nobody but have a few cocktails and talk to my friends every day, and I'm in Facebook jail because they don't want my voice being heard on their platform. Stuffs, shifts, getting crazy. Trust me. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back after this. We'll do a little uh, news of the day or mix it up. We're going to mix it up right after this on Liquid Lunch. Stick with us. Mix one up.